Hello, hello. Hello, folks who are here. So much to do. Oh, that's a lot. That's a whole lot. Uncle Byron. Hopefully it's nothing. Oh. I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. We just stop what we're doing to go talk to Blackthorn. Okay. Well, all right then. Did you see the pair that got hauled into town? Clive. Hmm. The whole realm's in chaos. But as the old saying goes... Coin purse weighing you down.
Oh, interesting. You know, last elixir. You'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Blackthorn, do you have a moment? Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you, that you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. Oh, Clive. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well, Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd looking thing with a single edge blade. For folks who are here, how's everyone doing? The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you? Nah, no, no, no. They're not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. Ow. If there's anyone about in chat, speak up. <laughs> did you serve it, survive meeting hell? Yes. Yes, I did. Thanks for not leaving me in the Dominion. If you hadn't come back, I might still be stuck there. I told uh. her she flew back on the Phoenix, but she walloped me for telling fibs. Can you tell her it was the truth, Clive? Yes, please. Please take care of the fuzzies. Did you see the pair that got pulled into time? There's barely been a shipment in since the sky started boiling. A few more days without a visit and we'll have to start eating the blankets. That sounds dire. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. What are you making them skies then? You know when it's what? Fancy a look at the list, do you? I don't mean to be gloomy. They need all the help they can get. Here you go. Oh, there's stuff to do. All right, I can't. Something in there. I can't travel anywhere. Good to know. I help you today, Clive. It's not true. Lost so much already. Your benefactors are a generous lot. All done.
expect me to work with the... I'd say we were in for a storm. Xander, how are you? How goes? Welcome in, Fanarays. Hope you are having a good day. Hello, hello. Okay. You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? How were they? I want to know about the sword you showed. Welcome on in. How's your day going, Xander? I need to go watch the VOD for the uh, geologist primer. Because it aired when I was working, so I need to go watch. How to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. But how are you? I miss you. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the It's beautiful, Xander. Straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Excuse me. Where is it now? Oh, cool. I did back the Kickstarter today. Suppose you're not Hey, Rex. Wow. Uh, Kay, did you raid Xander and Xander was ending? Lord Ignax, the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. Oh, nice. Are you are you waiting to play Tears of the Kingdom then? Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dalamil, where I left him. But welcome on in, raiders. Yay, Ray Train. Welcome on in. Uh, for those that I don't know, my name's Cypher. I do a bunch of variety, and my variety lately has been this and Tears of the Kingdom. Enjoy your nap. Hey, some life. Where do I need to go? Find Ignok and Delmi. I uh, need to go talk to Otto. Hey Catherine, hey Zero. My voice sounds really rough and I don't know why. Probably because I had five meetings today. Oh, nice! Otto, how far is the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fact storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? I, uh, just have the lightning temple left, and then the fight with... With Matt, which sounds weird, but... Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Eight panels in one day? Good lord. Oh, Xander. If you have, if you can just text me a yes or no, are you planning on Unplugged? Because I am thinking about panels already. Lady Vivian and Old Tones have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. My record out of PAX is 14 panels in four days. And I was informed reliably I'm not allowed to do that ever again. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, one PAX West over the course of four days, I was on 14 panels. Oh, I don't think I had a voice left by the time we were done. Ooh, the Ten of Clubs. I need to go to the Sunbrook. What is this? Is thirty thousand? Oh, that shouldn't be making a noise. Why am I hearing a noise? Pardon me. I should not be hearing. Oh, OBS is still open. I'm like, why do I hear a noise? What is that? 
Jesus. Um, what just happened? I missed an alert of some kind, so pardon me. But I missed your, your answer, Xander. You have a good night. I miss you. I hope I get to see you, if not in Seattle, then soon. But I'm considering panels already. Jesus. Yeah, I know you sent me the thing, but one of them, I need to find the Bomb King. I remember I was going to do it, but then the map locked up on me. How is it that every one of your <clears throat> presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. Well, it was, it was the, you need to go to the Crystalline Dominion. I think now things will have opened back up. Oh, Clive. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, Sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Yeah. I think everything got locked down but since I had to go fight Bahamut. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Balisthea. Oh, excuse me. Around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt. I wasn't going to stream again, but I realized I have a lot left. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. <clears throat> from the people's necks, cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift <clears throat> end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Walud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Well, that was... depressing.
with Harpocrates. How was your day, Simwife? How's everyone's day? I know Catherine and Zero are, are less than a week from their move. Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? I'm still stuck on 17 panels. Take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is... Oh, I'm sorry. ...might be better place to answer than I. And on the same Yay, road snacks. ...the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters. But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we... There is nothing divine about him. Ah, <sighs> but he... Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way Moss the Chronicler... I may have been able to tell you more, but I'll you'll find a mouse's journal. Remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope. Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Oh my God! Is this literally go talk to everyone? Quest. I go back to Otto. It seems the hideaway has lost its appetite. Wow, the world's still locked down. Look at this. The game really is like, no, you may not leave. Damn. Oh, Tori. My room, why did I come in here like this? I forget there's no way out of my room. I heard the Emperor was impaled on his... We're all gonna die! You hear me? The Akashic are coming and they won't stop until they slaughter them! Wow, that's a way to fucking cause a panic! Jesus! I don't know why I went in this long ass circle. After Drake's head, I was beginning to wonder if you'd lost interest in Sid's grand scheme. But here we are. Another crystal cracked, another nation in disarray. You wear the mantle of outlaw well. Okay, suspicious character. Why are you here? What happened to the sky? Sid's daughter is gone, isn't she? Yep. We did all of that. We did all of that and she left. Wow. Received word that the displacement stacks have arrived safely in Canva. The rest is up to Mid. I don't know where the fuck Mid is. Sorry, I absolutely worked that run. I don't mind a story lock, but this is a lot. Clive, we have a problem. Only one. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cache out her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and Erlock. And don't forget Dalimil. 
Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains, it fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Oh boy. How are you doing? Quick look. Oh. Oh my god, what happened? Poor bastard. Couldn't run because of the weight of his load. Still, better a branded than one of us. Oh, can I kill him? Can I absolutely kill him? He legit said one of the, one of the branded better than one of us. Really? They really just said fuck these people the highest magnitude. Oh no, has it bought a clock sim life? Okay. One prick in your sparrow will sing, okay, cool. I is it that time of day, sim life? A lock. Oh, I hope not either. I just noticed. Sid, your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Uh, oh, enjoy your drink. Confused. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. How oh, you're no but use. Is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hair has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. Wow. You won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow the shouting. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. Well, okay then. What happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? 
Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandit's ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. I'm very confused right now. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Costness. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime... Perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. So what's the first thing you're gonna do once you, uh... ...arrive at the new place? So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder... Fair. ...and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. Target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... He'd let them choose for themselves, and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. A recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Oh my god, we really doing this, these people? Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? Oh, excuse me. And all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, if you're landing the first, convince him of his folly. I'll speak. Two weeks should be plenty. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? What he means to say is yes. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. 
Haven't we had enough fighting? I know I bloody well have. This will be fun. My reputation will be ruined. Ruined. Calm, Calm down, Doran. Ignac, I beg of you before you do yourself a mischief. Or you what? Intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? What is wrong with these people? I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat... ...fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. We're gonna do all this and all we want is to talk to him? I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not, no. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is set to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. Then that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence, and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. So who feels suddenly like we're playing 14? Haven't we had enough fighting? Fucking ruined. Mummy, I'm scared. I mean, it may still be possible to buy something. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. My what? Lord Underhill. She literally saw him. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation. She was there. How you were when we caused problems. Stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. Five, you can't lie to save your life or anyone else's. It is... Worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. Ferwick, hello. While I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, uh. I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we 
We will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. Good time zone. Actually, I don't know why I opened that. I have a wee charcuterie. Must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But we wouldn't have gone through this charade. I wish she just said bye, Clive, to him. That would have been hilarious. I didn't say it was good. Really, but it produced the desired effect. Wow. Returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. Wow. You know, you could have done this shit yourself, buddy. If that's how we're going to be. It appears I have no choice but to do what little I can to defend what little we have. If I had my pickaxe, I would. Yeah, yeah, you would have got yourself killed. Picture it, Connor. Here she is. The lady of the spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire, is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. If it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad. Wow. Saying that Dalham's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I might have been thirsty. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. Wow. Everyone might as well just tell me I can't do shit. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Oh, such a good boy. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. Mm. 
I have a favor to ask. Of course you do. March in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. What's everyone getting into either tonight or this morning? <laughs> the women folk have come to welcome us. I'll take that one. He's all yours. Oh, I got dragon's breath? I have dragon's breath. I have dragon's breath. I'm... Please come try to hit me. Oh, I love this so much. Dragon's breath. Oh, shit. You like something in your face. Fine. I will catch up on chat as soon as I'm done with this. Oh yes. Give me all the stagger. Welcome back, Sam Wife. What's your drink? A lot of Zelda, other than that, working, so I'm trying... Oh, yeah, I need to... That's a reminder for me. I still need to call and cancel my old Blue Cross Blue Shield. Could they have held out? 
don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. What's your uh, drink of choice, Simwif? <sighs> You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. I hope you get it. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you. Blue Boy, you about to get a sword to your face. I'll take that as a compliment. Let's go. Faster. Let's go, girl. Let's go. Damn, Joe, what kind of super chocobo you got? Yes, you, you saw that accurately. I just kept going. Wow. Wow, Zero. Why are you like this? Oh, there's just ether just straight up out in the sand. What up? Sure do. Really? Wow, the innkeeper is doing... No damage. Me, how do I play this game? You're a fine hound. Oh yeah. Good, Torgal. Oh, this parry is sick. 
I don't know what combo I've changed to, but give me all of this. I am so close to leveling. This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Delamel. I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. Interesting. Formidable name indeed. You've gone back to Wyvern. Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Oh no. A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. Master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that. Wow! It was made in the Outer Isles, far beyond the Twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. Oh, okay. A brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> a fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. Ten thousand licks with the sharpening stone, then ten... What's a samurai sword? But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Wyvern, it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered. Take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself. And a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. So it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my Oh no! Oh no! Lord Byron Ross. Oh no! Perennial oh no! Side. <laughs> I can imagine. Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Oh my god. We mustn't dawdle. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Wow. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. That is hilarious. Uh, I found out uh, watching... Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Uh, I found out watching Geeky Cassie that unfortunately, the voice actor for Byron had passed away. Um...
Let me find that thing that Malvin sent me. The Croc in Sandbrack. Where in Sandbrack? Northeast, south, or west Sandbrack? I didn't know. Uh... That is a nice number of months, Sim Wife. First we find Isabel. Uh, some life, do you remember where the king... Exactly the... Bomb King Witch Sandbrick is Dragon's Airy Obelisk. Ah, right there. Oh, I, I looked at the link you sent me. I wasn't sure which one. <laughs> None of the rest of these raise you in the air. Stopping to level me up mid-combat weirds me out. is When I get to 
location to make sure I was in the right way. I was going the right way. It's one of those, hey, you could easily get lost maps. Ah. I need to go in there, but there's loot over here. Company. Oh, I needed that loot. It looks like this is close to where we fought the griffin. Ah, I missed my turn. Hey, a giant arena? Perfect place for the for the bomb to be. Oh, that's creepy. Look what we have here. Greetings, Your Majesty. Oh, that fucked me up. Yo, could you maybe not? Bomb King ain't fucking with me. That hurt. I'm hurt, Togo.
It's time to go back home. Your reign is over. Now to collect the ash. I should probably have brought a bucket. This looks like the stuff. Thanks some more. If there's any more. It's like I guess I should have brought a bucket. more than this he can fetch it himself go back home deliver this stuff get more potions Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about that sword then? I did better than that. I... a whetstone? Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <sighs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield properly, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah. Hey, DJ. Copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blood. Welcome in. Hey, a button. That's something to consider. How are you, DJ? How's the rest of the? How was the rest of the game? For that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Um. Don't push yourself too hard. 
Now you worry about our our such blacksmith is interesting. Day and night since I was half your age, and I'll still be here when you're long gone. Wow. Hey, thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one. August. Oh wow! Oh, there's a story to it. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my. I realized there was a a story. Mike's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. Welcome, Nightcore. Uh, my name's Cypher. I do a lot of variety. And uh, I'm trying to get through this game before Baldur's Gate 3 finishes. I don't know if that's going to happen. See, I didn't know I'd been watching, but I've been in meetings most of the day while you're playing. So I've missed so much context. All I saw were you were going to fight people like every other day and like getting your ass beat. Trouble with your gear or what's saying for you, dear? I burned. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Uh I'm good. I would just add I would add just chatting to the to the just chatting screen because it's blank. But other than that, and I can do that myself in Photoshop or in Canva. Uh oh DJ, the The overlays I showed you were artificers doing. I gave DJ a sneak peek. Of the, the of the overlays. Hey, hey Mandy. Let's stock up what you can. Going purse weighing you down. Oh, I took an entire ass You're beating. Right You're rubbing me blind, you know. I just finished a hunt. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I got an entire ass beating. Yay, we have a Mandy. Oh, don't. I'm, I'm at, um... Basically, everyone has a quest now that I'm toward the end. And they're all kind of freaking out. Oh no, what will I do? I have no parsnips. And I'm like, there's a basket of parsnips right there. If you bothered to look down, you would see it. We're all gonna die! You hear me? The Akashic are coming and they won't stop until they've slaughtered every single one of us! Lady, if that's how you're gonna be, just go jump in the lake. Like, seriously, just go jump in the lake right now. If, if that's how much of a panic we're gonna be in... Go jump in the fucking lake right now. DJ, I'm glad to see you. Thank you for the raid. All this fuss over a few dark cow. All right there, Sid. How's that hunt? Were you still gonna play this, DJ? I have it here. Or once BG3 comes out. Um, is that it? Is that all you're playing? That's the stuff. And plenty of it too. Enough to keep the Olympic. Mandy, you have been missed. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then. Let's get this contraption up and running. Man is too excited to get some ashes. Some time later. That must be a hell of a time later if we built an oven. Oh, DJ, if you're still here, Lala has a late birthday gift coming in. Very impressive. <laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The 
for when you keep your potions in. Ah. What kind of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit? Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. Who says I'll only be a mo in in real life? I'm glad I did this mo this mission now. What you come? It certainly feels more flexible. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. No, no. Oh, Thank Clive, you're you. so cute. For supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. And I'm telling you. There's plenty more where that came from. Well, all right then. I'm like level 34 and I'm just now getting an inventory increase. Oh shit, I can carry six potions now? Okay, I'll take it. Pass over a few dark clouds. All right, now I can buy more potions and go back to the main story, I think. Well, I should actually sit up. expecting you back so soon your benefactors are a generous lot here you are all done all right Clive I cannot claim Such are the wages. Ironic, then. And how could it not? But are we any better? Should I learn aught else, you will be the first to know. Oh no, wine and cheese. Whatever will you do? All right, let's buy more potions. I, uh, I'm gonna go try to do more stuff. Not me running into a wall. Still alive, are ya? Go on then. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? <laughs> all right, let's save. Why do I have... Damn it! I still have enough for Giga Flare. Wow, Mandy, you are causing chaos. So 
Touch Chaos. Satellite. Oh, I know. That wasn't a, a... This is not you. I know you're a chaos monster. What does... Oop, I went the wrong way. You are a chaos. The question for the chat. Do you want to see main story progression? Or... Or... What could be wrong with Togo? He seemed well enough when I last saw him. Oh no. Uh someone send me a DM and remind me to warn Chris about this. Something's wrong with Torgal. So you can read. Congratulations. But I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on somewhere else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? What was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things happen differences, Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Perhaps. You know, I could do without the snarkiness. Ask you about Torgor. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite, which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I rather think she might be right, though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within. And I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. A 
Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgul, but a surfeit of it. What now? I assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain. It may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals, whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Even so, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. Another hunt. Chat, y'all okay? Everybody's gone quiet. Big damn, that's not what I want. Oh, a bone to pick is here. It is eight thirty central. All right, we're doing a bone to pick first. Plus, I need to. Us, yeah, this isn't going to be a super long stream since I plan to do a lot tomorrow. Wow, now y'all actually blockading off the bridge. Oh no, Mandy. Wait, as in like two days Thursday or next Thursday? Oh, that reminds me though, Mandy. Did you ever find uh cr not crochet? Oh my god. Uh needlepoint slash cross stitch stuff. Cause I have two kits I can give you. I got a bunch of stuff for Needlepoint and then uh, didn't stick with it. I mean, like a bad way, just it doesn't stick with me. Bear. I know those feels, Mandy. But as I rearranged the office and pulled a bunch of stuff out, I uh, found two cross stitch kits I bought. Oh no, the spiders! Oh 
someone pop the CW because uh, apparently we're getting spooters. Yeah, I got two kits and a bunch of yarn or thread. Do you call it yarn or thread in, in cross stitch? The voice actor for Clive seems really cool. At least from what I've seen online. But again, we know that you can always go by what you see online. We'll see. Although the voice actor for Gav is a hoot. Oop, this was a, a mistake. This was an entire mistake. I may have gone the wrong way. You know what? That big horn is not bothering us. We're getting back on the road. I have gone so far off the wrong path, y'all. Okay, I need to go up. Uh, before I go anywhere else, I'm going to get a quick bio break. It is. It very much is. Uh, but moderators have the calm. I'll be back in two to five at the latest. Just need a quick bio and also get some more water.
I'm back. Sorry about the wait. Ugh. So I put a marker down, and I still went the wrong way. Okay, that is a mark. Hey, Leaf. So, question for the chat. Those of us that usually go to cons and stuff like that. Nope. I'm going to leave that Gigas alone. Oh, great. I'm going the wrong way. Um... What cons are people going to? Oh, there's a bridge right there in front of me. Good job. It. You know, I was trying to mind my business. That's how you do, Mega Player. Okay. Oh, that hurt. Oh, so I can. She, you and me both. Oh my god. Oh yes, give me that stagger. I think I'm still gonna go to Pax Unplug regardless, but I am planning panels. needs to take you out. Trying to like not fight that Gigas, by the way. 
um, apparently the usual trick of uh, booking at the hotel we were all at last time is not a thing that's happening because uh, I saw Brian post he tried to book there and nothing is open. Aw, leaf. Um, as far as TwitchCon, I've only booked a room I've not bought. Alright, bye, some wife. Have a good one. I hope tomorrow is better work-wise. Um, the thing is, if it was still in San Diego but cost that much, there's other shit I can do in San Diego. Like, people I can go see, or I could take... I could take the Amtrak down to L.A. for a couple days and stay with a friend. So there was nothing going on in San Diego. At least I ha I'm in proximity. Do shit elsewhere. I don't know how y'all feel about Vegas. I didn't like Vegas. Oh yeah, have you looked to see if there's anything open? Or the dates, because the dates are published. That was fucking rude. Oh, no, they have it. I mean, if you just wanted to book directly at that hotel. Because that's what some of us do. Like, I've got a lot of points with Marriott. I could probably get half of my... Rude! Like, I could probably do a good chunk of my stay on points alone. Okay, Clive. Got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I found a notorious mark without looking. Didn't see that coming. Okay, Clive. Sass master. If that's the... I go all the way to Eastpool and then come back down, Jesus.
Yeah, it's always going to be there as far as I know. I hope they don't pull like a like a TwitchCon and then change it and because if it leaves Philly, I don't know where else it would go. Cause I already have Boston. And Chicago is just well. Normally Philly is too cold. But hey, look at that global warming. Excuse me. I mean, if they had it here, I'd be real happy. And I could sleep in my own bed. But I feel like something goes on around the, the first week of December. I, I could be wrong. Oh. Cool. Uh, nope. Gotta go that way. Excuse me, but bombs. Pardon me. Excuse me. Really? Everything creation is following us. It's certainly quiet. If I were a giant antelope, it would seem like just the place. That's right. It, it adds an hour to go to Philly, doesn't it? I doubt we'll find one bigger than that. You hungry, Toggle? So wait, we're basically hunting these almost extinct creatures for Torgal to eat. That was a little aggressive for some antelope that you sought out. No. Will it be enough, I wonder? I say that answers my question, which means we owe the lawsmen our thanks. You're just a big puppy, aren't you? A very big puppy. <laughs> you do know you can take that with you, Torgal. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you've got your appetite back. Come on, boy. <laughs> Aww. Man, I'm surprised you haven't picked this up just to pet the dog. Alright, let's take care of Arthur's rest and then I may call it, but tomorrow. Can it be a log stream? I'm debating, and this is this is probably pushing it, but what I was thinking is get up in the morning and do magic cards. Oh, I mean just strictly so you can pet the doggo. 
Kashik attacked us out of the blue. And there's no telling when they might be back. You best keep that sword handy, Sid. This man's gonna die if we don't get I'm also keeping an eye out for something from Larian. Because Marissa asked for my address. Not quite sure what may be coming. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said he'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? I have something coming Friday from Disney. What happened? Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fight is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. What I was also thinking is, if there's a lot of story, like it looks like there is... Do you think there are as many as Martha says? <laughs> considering I know how long the final boss fight is... I, I can't wait for Susie Pets! Oh, is the store open or no? Story is open, good. Oh, do. Thanks very much. There you go. Take care out there, eh? But you get to pet a doggo IRL. I do not. I do miss having a dog. But my building now does not allow dogs. Wounded. Oh boy. Oh no, we have to fight doggos. I don't know why it amuses me. You know what? We're just gonna... Wow, Torgal is gone, Foon Moon Doggo.
These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place... You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wade's men? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you when on. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! Right? The almost at the lift. They got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels, and they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. Oh, exposition. Oh shit, is Jill gonna prime? We've only seen her turn once. <laughs> oh, how's the weather for the East Coast people? Because we are getting the heat wave here this week. I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you. Oh no. Damn it. We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. Excuse me, the fuck? I don't like that. What the fucking fuck? Oh, I don't like that.
Sorry if I'm super quiet, I'm concentrating. I hope that was the end of it. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> You've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde? Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for Eastpool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. All right, I think that's it for me because I am struggling. But tomorrow, after I wake up, hit the floor, have some breakfast, I want... I want to try to finish this, but there's a lot of narrative left. So we'll see. Um, question for the chat. Misty's on. Case is on playing Punch Club 2. Um, Sada's on playing this. Wait, Sada's on now? Oh, not Sadia Slays. You're welcome. And Dave is also playing this. Day to Dave. We have not rated Dave in a while. Let's go give him a hard time. Bahamut raid. I need some Final Fantasy emotes. 
But let's go see where Dave is in this game. Um, and then tomorrow, look out for a tweet or blue sky or chirp or whatever the fuck we're calling uh, posts on social media anymore. You're welcome. Thank you for being here, Mandy. I've missed you in streams. I know I'm me playing so much Tears of the Kingdom makes it hard not to get spoiled. So I'm going to go pass out. So let's say hi to Dave and I'm calling it a night. Bye, y'all.